we're joined now by gadget expert Ollie Mann. Yet another iPhone, Ollie. It's not vastly different from the last one. And let's be honest, Apple hasn't come out with anything revolutionary since before Steve Jobs died. Contentious. Uh, I mean, the thing is, is we're, fair, well, we're in a product cycle with Apple and Apple fanboys like those people we've just seen standing outside the shop know how this works. This is the cycle of the S bit. This is the 5S. We have the 4, then the 4S, then we get the 5, then the 5S. The major innovation, if you like, everyone knows, is being saved up for iPhone 6, if you can think that far ahead to this time next year, almost inevitably, uh, perhaps we'll be sitting here again talking about that. So people weren't necessarily expecting massive leaps and bounds changes. And as you see, the people who love Apple products are prepared to go and queue mm. for the latest one anyway, because as much as anything, it's about showing off you have the latest handset. That's why it's now in gold, uh, as well as just in black and white, because you can show everyone you've got a 5S. There seems to be a sort of split in people who use phones, people who get excited and people who don't. Mm -hmm. I don't get excited about these things. I quite like my gadgety thing there. Mm -hmm. But I, but what is, so for those of us who don't get it, you know, who don't get why you would want to keep spending all this money when your phone perfectly works well, just explain this phenomenon. I mean, what is it? Why, why is it this way? Well, I think partly it's what I was saying about showing off that you have the latest right. thing. Partly it genuinely is that with every innovation, they are more convenient. Uh, yeah, they are easier to use. There are things in iOS, which is the new software for the iPhones, which you can get, by the way, even if you don't have the latest handset. Right. You can get it from anything from the iPhone 4 onwards, which make it more convenient to use. For example, now you can just swipe upwards to turn on your Wi-Fi or turn off your Bluetooth. Um, these are little incremental yeah. life-changing things. But there are other things, phones, aren't there? I but, mean, well, that challenge these. I, I happen to have one here, actually. So, uh, you know, this is my iPhone 5 with iOS 7 on it. Well done. But this, look, this is an HTC running Android. Yes. It's a bigger screen. Also it seems just as clear to me. It feels thinner. Um, and a lot of people are saying it's that operating system that, that Apple is now mimicking with its new iteration. They are saying that. It is a cleaner look, iOS 7, uh, and it does look a little bit like Android. That's true. And it looks like Android in ways that Steve Jobs, when he was alive, probably wouldn't have permitted. Uh, there was this big battle within Apple about skeuomorphism. Uh, this idea that things look like things in real life, which is why you had green felt on the game. And a wooden bookcase. Wooden bookcase, little reel-to-reel -reel on podcasts yeah. and legal notepaper on notes. That's all gone now. Mm. Uh, and some people are saying, actually, that's antithetical to what he would have wanted for the company. Okay. It does look a bit more like Android. And Android are the biggest uh, operating system. Samsung are the biggest handset mm. manufacturer in the world by by some margin now over Apple. But the point is, people who love the phones tend to stick with what they know. And this fingerprint thing, uh, it wasn't that well received initially when Apple announced it. When you read tech journalists that have had a sneak preview on it, apparently it works. And actually, that's enough to get people okay. excited. It is, and even if you want one, whether you can get your hands on one anytime soon is, is entirely another matter. You can have the lot, 500 pounds to get this fella from 700th to 10th. I'm tired, I've been as, almost since yesterday morning. And yeah. I want my phone. Sorry, mate. But do you, you know, literally the... cannot pay 500 quid to get a place in the queue, Alan. Unbelievable, wow. isn't it? Would you have taken that five? Yeah, you yeah. would have taken that 500. What a silly boy. What a silly question to ask. I know. You'd have gone at 200. I'm going to start queuing now just for the yeah. sake of people buying my place in the queue. That will be me mm. next time. We're joined now by gadget expert Ollie Mann. So two new iPhones released in one year for an enormous amount of money. I mean, they're, they're so expensive. Are they, are they worth it? Well, it, worth it is a very interesting question. I mean, Apple's shares actually took a bit of a tumble after mm. the announcement of this because the tech industry and speculators were saying there's not enough innovation in the new phones. The 5C, the supposedly cheap one, mm -hmm. although to be fair to Apple, they never called it that. It's still um, 500 quid, nearly, it's, isn't it? Exactly. It's still mm. 500 and, uh, 469 pounds yeah. for the, the cheap one. Uh, it's still very expensive. The, the 5S is 80 pounds more than that. Um, but actually, there's a huge discrepancy between what journalists and speculators think and what the public think. And what you've just seen there is the Apple fanboys still go out absolutely in their hordes. They're very excited about the new innovations and they are going to sell that hotcake. But you know the new one, the expensive one, it's all about the thumb, isn't it? It is all about the thumb. What does um, that mean? So, <laughs> so really the only innovation they've made actually on the 5S, apart from it has a better camera on it and there's 64-bit architecture behind the scenes, is that you can now unlock the phone using your thumbprint or fingerprint. Um, now that is quite exciting. And I say this advisedly, again, people were skeptical at first. 
I've read a lot of blogs about what, this. What? I don't understand. What do you mean? You, the actual, you could be here for a very long time, Ollie. Let me just... Your personal <laughs> fingerprint or yes. just a swipe? Yeah, or your entire family. So it can learn up to five different Ooh, finger or, or thumbprints. And you use that as your passcode. So now if you want to ah. make an in-app purchase, if you want to buy something on iTunes or if you just want to unlock the phone, it's a simple tap. And like I said, okay. people who have tested it say it's brilliant. The concern is... Apple, of course, were one of the companies that were sharing information with the NSA. If you want to put your tin hat conspiracy theory on, uh, actually, you know, do you want necessarily the world's governments to have your fingerprints on record as well? A lot Fair of people point. are sceptical about that. Mm. Thank you very much indeed. Okay. Are you going to get one very quickly? Uh, I might wait a bit, okay. but yes, in six months' time. You'd have taken a 500 quid, wouldn't you? I think, I think there's hundreds of people rushing yeah. to Govan Garden now <laughs> to get that 500 <laughs> yeah, quid. <right>. <laughs>